All right, everybody, welcome to Monday. Happy Monday. It is April 22nd. Yes, it is all day long. We are starting a new week. That's what happens. Every week on Monday, a new week starts, which is cool because you got a whole new week of doing new, cool, and fun, and exciting stuff. Or, hey, if you didn't get it right next last week, you can try to get it right this week. Here we go. Starting with some headlines we're going to get right. Starting with, uh, visit the new California Welcome Center in Modesto, California. I actually, I didn't think this was that interesting, but I thought it was funny that the two pictures that are seen right here went together <laughs> when I was looking for headlines. It was kind of funny. I saw that, I was like, that's kind of funny. So I, I went with that one. That card didn't like that very much. There it goes, all right, here we go. Next up, chef explains why grilled chicken tastes better at a restaurant than at home. This is simple. It's because you didn't have to cook it and you didn't have to do the dishes. <laughs> Makes everything taste better. Well, not everything. Even if someone cooks, does the dishes, and pays me money, asparagus still tastes terrible. Uh-huh, yeah. All right, next up, Karate Kid. An updated cast list for the franchise's sixth movie, landing Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio. Now, I'm not sure why we need six of these, and I don't know when this is going to fall in the timeline because there was the movies, and then there were some other movies that were totally unrelated to the original movies, and then there was the series on Netflix that was really pretty good. I did not watch the whole series. I made it through the first season, but I have not seen the other, I think, two seasons. But uh, the movie, so where's it going to land? I don't know. It would be pretty cool, though. We love Jackie Chan. We love Ralph Macchio as... Ooh, almost got her. <laughs> Uh, so we'll see. We'll see when that comes out. That looks good. All right. Starting off this Monday, we've got the headlines down. Now is time to do our positive quote to get positivity going around here with Hannah. Just one small positive thought in the morning can change your Whole day, whole day, whole day. Yes, absolutely. One small thought can do the trick. Now, you may do a thought that's positive and feel nothing. It's like, well, that didn't change my mood. I don't feel any better about Monday. But if you said it again, it was still probably not gonna do much. But if you kept saying it, if you wrote it on a post-it note, you carried it around all morning long, science does back the idea, well, not even the idea, the reality that the more you read it, the more your brain starts connecting neurons that makes that a reality. Yes, it's manifestation. Next up, we've got some weather because you know what, in California, it is late April which means we're really turning the corner now on rain and clouds and all that kind of stuff. Although we may still get some here and there, but the warmth, ah, the warmth is right here with us and around the corner. So let's see what Connor's got with some weather for us. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monday morning, morning forecast. And as you can see today, nice and sunny. So this week it's going to be in the 70s and it's going to be mostly cloudy. But you better be ready for on Friday because it's going to because things are going to get wet. All right. Yes, Connor's doing a great job. In fact, maybe Connor should take over for me here and there. I mean, he does a really good job. Maybe Connor could do this uh, here and there. So maybe we'll we'll see. Connor's doing a great job. Uh, this guy is doing a great job at not sure what. Sea Dog Revelations. Wise man once told Sea Dog Broskies that to choose your toilet paper is divine, but to choose Jumbo toilet paper is eternal. Oh, Broskies, look at this! Oh, here's the giant-sized toilet paper. Woo! Sea Dog could uh, make some good use out of this. 
So, remember that. Alright, nice job, Sea Dog. You're really just killing it at life, you know, just really making it happen for yourself with all those inspiring thoughts and wisdom flowing out of your bandana and your fluffy hair. Uh, it's really doing well. All right, question of the question of the day, right here. Maybe you can do three things. Why invisible? What will you do? I would scare people, fight off enemies, and eat or drink. For free? Hmm, probably for free. Hit people. Scare people and I would yell at them. <laughs> and they wouldn't have any idea where it's coming from, huh? Nope. Three things you would do if invisible. One, I would go like, uh, who was it? Was it Austin? Somebody said they'd go to the movie theater and watch movies for free. I'd totally do that. If I was invisible, I'd totally. And you'd see that floating popcorn and then it floating in the, my mouth and everyone would realize, wow, that's a lot of popcorn that invisible man is eating. <laughs> Good thing he's invisible because we don't want to see what's happening with him. Uh, yeah, so that's one thing I would definitely do. Um, gosh, I'm not sure otherwise. I'm. Yeah, there's a lot of weird, you know, uh, things about the Invisible Man movies and stuff like that. So, I think I'd probably just stick to going to the movie theaters. I would do that, yeah. All right, next up. Did you know? Did you know this? What's that has for us? Did you know you could tell if, it, if an egg is old based on if it floats in water? So if it floats to the surface, that means it's old. If it goes down, it means it's not old. So I have two eggs here. I have a white one and a brown one. And let's say you have a carton of eggs and the expiration date has passed. Don't throw them out just yet. We're gonna see how to test the freshness and then we're gonna talk about what to do with that. So first, let's take an egg. You have a bowl of water. If it sinks all the way to the bottom, we're good. It's still fresh. If it kind of tips up and starts to move north in the water then it's not as fresh and if it floats all the way to the top then it's definitely an old egg and you should probably not eat it and what happens is the shells are porous so over time air gets in through the egg shell and air gets into the inside of the egg itself so that's why it gets more buoyant over time so let's see if this one's fresh oh yeah this is a fresh egg you can see it's just on the bottom hanging out. Now let's check this brown one. Also fresh, fantastic. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one to do. Sometimes, you know, the expiration dates on food are kind of like, is it the sell-by date or is it the expiration date? Expiration means it's gone. Do not eat it. Uh, sell-by is like, well, you need to sell it out of the store on this date, and then it's good for a few, a little bit of time afterwards. So sell it by here, still good, or expire, get it out. And uh, eggs is one of those that has a sell-by date. So not an expiration date, it's a sell-by date. So you check that date and it says today is the sell-by date. So basically you can walk into the store, buy it, take those eggs home and cook them. That's the theory. And if you're a little nervous about that, just take the eggs and do as they said, put them in some water. If they float, they're gone. But you might have, a, if you have a carton of eggs, 12 eggs, half of them might be good. Half of them might be bad. If you've got them on the sell-by date, Hey, check it out. It's a good way to go to make sure you're not eating some crappy eggs, right? Okay, that is it for Monday. Hope everyone has a great Monday. It is April 22nd, which is technically today is actually the Earth Day. I'm pretty sure about that. It's 22nd. Today is Earth Day. So take a moment. Give the Earth a hug. Oh, I love you, Earth. And be thankful for this cool planet we have. It's actually... When you really deeply think about how amazing this planet is, it's really amazing because 
There's not a lot of planets like this and a lot of people like this. So let's have fun together and have a great Monday. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, on the Morning Routine.